excited about today's IG Live. It actually came, the idea for, for it came about for two reasons. The first one is it's a continuation of a previous IG Live that I did um, about what fabrics to use for lingerie. And the second reason why uh, today's IG Live is one of my followers reached out to me, I want to say two weeks ago, and she DM'd me and she said, hey, I want to use a non-stretch fabric for lingerie. I swear you wrote a post on this. And I said, nah, I didn't write a post on that. I, have, I, don't, I don't remember. And she said, I, I just swear. And she sent me a screenshot and I was like, oh my God. When, where and when did you find that? And I was like, that's gotta be like 10 years old. And she goes, well, you did write it in like 2012. And I was like, oh my God, that's why I don't remember it. That's like asking you like, hey, did you write this email eight years ago? So, but it is a awesome topic that definitely makes for a good uh, discussion. And the timing is perfect because there was a new fabric that came out last week that was a non-stretch. So it's um, this guy right here. It is the non-stretch bumblebee fabric, Italian, super cute. So if you um, snatched up one of these and you're probably wondering, well, how do I use it? Today, I will be answering that. Um, so, but before I get to that, before I get to, um, how to use, if you can use non-stretch fabrics, and if you can, how do you use it? Um, let's go over, I wanna go over the parts of a bra, and this discussion will also include underwear too, um, but that will be at the end because we all wear underwear. If you're making a bra out of non-stretch, you wanna know how to make the underwear out of non-stretch so that they match. Um, so, but, in order for you to choose fabrics, to easily choose fabrics and not like get your panties in a bunch and get a headache and be like, F this, I'm not too much, um, I'm not making lingerie. It's important to know the different parts of a bra and how they function. Because once you know this, you it will be a breeze um, choosing fabrics for lingerie. So, the, I have two my two ladies here um, modeling some bras. Um, huge supporters every day, day in and day out. Um, so this one is the Madeline Simplicity 870, or this is the Madeline Simplicity 8229, and this is the Eloise Bralette. So let's go over the parts of a bra briefly. So you have the frame, um, and in a partial band bra, you have the bridge, and it's basically what holds in the cups. So this should be, well, before I go over the levels of support, let's just go over the parts. So you have the frame, um, which is, holds all the cups, then you have the cups, your bra cups, and then you have your back band. So, the, this is back band. The um, bra making rule, which I am a proponent, I believe that you need to know the rules in order to break the rules. So the bra making rule is that the front of your bra, the frame and the cups should be stable, non-stretch, uh, in order to support the weight of the breast. Now if you don't have non-stretch fabric, if you have stretch fabrics, that's where you use your non-stretch lining to make the front, the, the frame and the cups non-stretch and stable. So the next part of the bra making rule is that if the front is non-stretch stable, the back band should stretch for comfort. So have you ever worn like a, I don't know, corset, Halloween costume, whatever, and it's usually made out of a non-stretch fabric and it's just, it's like long line and it's like constricting and like you, you just want to break out of it at the end of the day. That's what you get if you use a non-stretch all the way around. You need that stretch fabric in the back in order to breathe, move comfortably. Um, so that's the bra making rule. And you're probably thinking, well, does underwire, the same, same goes for underwire versus bralettes. So yes, if you have a non-stretch fabric, use it in the front or use your non-stretch lining in the front and then um, for the front bra cups, and then a uh, stretch for the back band. Um, so
So now, even though that's the rule, every woman is different. So even though I said that the front should be stable, non-stretch, blah, 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 um, this guy right here is actually lined with stretch mesh all the way around. So this, this person stretches, um, or this bra stretches all the way around. So I have D cups, E cups, F cups, G cups, H cups, I cups, that don't like underwires and they don't like feeling restricted. So, but I also, on the, on the other hand, there are also A cups who want underwire non-stretch structure. So even though these are, these are the rules, it's up to you. So you need to, or I suggest, I don't like to tell anybody they need to do something. I suggest that you start making bras, start trying on bras, and noticing what you like best and what you don't like, and then just keep doing that. So if you have a fabric that is non-stretch, like the Bumblebee fabric, and you're thinking, well, how do I use it? So you would use it in the front frame and the bra cups for an underwire bra, and the uh, front bra cups of the bralette. Um, and it, but the only exception, oh, and then you would use a stretch fabric for the back band. So structure in the front, stretch in the back, good to go. Now there is an exception to this. Um, and I don't, it's just one of those things where like, just trust me, I, I've done it before, it works. Um, now, in my Madeline Simplicity 8 7 11 pattern right here, this is an underwire bralette. So um, it is technically a bralette, but it does have a floating bridge that has an underwire. Now this guy, probably my, Barrett's my favorite, um, but this one is probably my second favorite. It's an underwire, so it's an underwire bralette. Monowire gives you uh, lift and support with the, bra the comfort of a bralette, so it doesn't flatten up like a pancake. Now for this guy, I have made this with non-stretch fabric all the way around. It breaks all the rules, um, but it works. So, and I think that if, if I was going to give a reason, I think that it is because the band is so thin that there's not much that can constrict you, so that does work. I actually have a Madeline Simplicity 7-Eleven cut out on my cutting table with the bumblebee fabric for the front and the back, and I am confident that it will fit and it will be comfortable. Um, so that's the only exception. So if you are, so a couple ways you can use wovens is um, you can use it for the front frame, bra cups, use a stretch uh, fabric for the back band. Um, or if your band is skinny like the 8711, you could get away with it. Now, how can you use it in underwear? You, you have this bra that you want to make using this really pretty non-stretch fabric. Um, how do you use it for if you want to make a matching underwear? So again, use the non-stretch for the front, use stretch fabric for the back. And you can just use, like with that bumblebee fabric, you can just use a black stretch mesh for the back or a black cotton jersey. It doesn't have to be something as fancy, it just needs to stretch. Um, so that's how you use a woven. And I will say that a lot of women, one more thing before I go, or end this video. So a lot of women get into bra making because they have scraps of fabric, um, woven fabric that they want to do something with it. You know, can I make a quilt out of it? Yes. Can I make lingerie out of it? Mm, I, I don't suggest that and here's why. Um, so a lot of women will want to put it on the bias too. So a lot of those scraps of fabric are older fabrics and older fabrics that their grandmothers gave to them, their grandmothers old laces. And a lot of fabrics like um, old thread, they kind of rot. So you want to make sure they just, they don't age the well. Um, so you want to make sure that the lace or the fabric is in good condition. Um, and that's, that's my only recommendation because I have a lot of women who say like, who come to me and like, I have my, my grandmother's old lace, can I use it? And, you know, even if I put on the bias, um, just make sure it's in good condition and it hasn't like deteriorated. So again, I hope that you found this 
uh, really informative and that you now feel confident and comfortable um, to use, know when to use and how to use non-stretch fabrics in your lingerie. Um, so thanks for tuning in, guys.